Dear parents and students, welcome to the Test Prep Card channel. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about National Institute of Technology, Goa. And in this video, we are going to discuss the following topics such as a basic overview about the National Institute of Technology, Goa. Then we are going to discuss about uh, other things related to it such as the eligibility, the various courses offered in NIT Goa and the required cutoff for these courses. And then we are going to discuss the application process as well as the scholarships available for various students in NIT Goa and the required entrance exams to enter the various courses being offered. So let us begin with this video, but here is a small request. Please do complete the video. And if you have any queries, you can actually comment down below. And for the information pertaining to NRIs, you can actually refer to the document being developed by a test prep cart which will be given in the description. Uh, so let's begin with a video about National Institute of Technology, Goa. First, you need to know when was it established. So it's uh, established not much far behind. Uh, it was established just a few years ago and uh, it has a good track record and it's an autonomous institute. So the entrance test is followed by counseling. The application mode is uh, offline and online as well. It's offline for PhD and for BTEC and MTech it is online. So name of the entrance as you know is JE mains for the BTEC courses and for the MTech it's gate. I hope you would have filled up the forms for gate because the dates are already out and the results are going to come as well. So the counseling is at the national level and yes NIT Goa does offer scholarships for all of you who are looking forward to seek admission in it. So then we have the BTEC, the MTech and the PhD courses. The BTEC courses uh, has the basic eligibility for all those who are appearing in the JE mains, they should have 10 plus 2 with 75% aggregate marks. While the MTech courses, they should be passed in all the graduation subjects that is their engineering graduation and they should have a valid GATE score as well. Then we have PhD courses, doctoral programs as well, where you need to have a post graduation. Uh, the fees for the doctoral programs for all those who are willing to uh, get an admission in these doctoral programs is very less. It's just like 28,400 uh, a year, which is much less than a BTEC and MTech course fees in NIT Goa. So this was pertaining to the eligibility for the various co various uh, streams of courses on offer such as BTEC, MTech, uh, the UG and the PG courses to name a few. But with regards to the specific courses on offer, the courses offered by NIT Goa in BTEC stream are Electronics and Communication Engineering, then Electronics and Electronics Engineering and Computer Science and Engineering. So all of them you need a 10 plus 2 with 75% aggregate marks. And also you should fall under the top 20 of the percentile category in the JE mains result. So this is you need to keep in mind as far as the eligibility for the courses offered by NIT Goa and BTEC. But for MTech stream, computer science and engineering is there. Then VLSI also is one of the specializations offered at the MTech level and power electronics and power systems. So the eligibility requirement for all these courses being offered by NIT Goa is one and the same. And there are 25 seats for each of these three categories that I just named. So you need to have a bachelor of engineering or bachelor of technology with at least 6.5 CGPA on a 10 point scale. And obviously that is less uh, for uh, the reserved categories. So 6.5 is for general category students on a 10 point scale or it should be 60% uh, for the unreserved categories. Whereas on a 10 point scale, 55% and 6 CGPA is the required uh, percentage or uh, grade point average for the SCST and uh, persons with disabilities candidates. So I hope it is clear 6.5 or 6 if you are a reserved category or else it would be 60% required or 55% required if you, uh, if you are a reserved category candidate. So these were the three streams on MTech. Now for the PhD courses that is uh, doctoral programs, the specialization required is computer science and engineering. Uh, the one being offered actually are these electronics and communication engineering and electrical and electronics engineering. These are the PhD courses on offer for all the engineering streams available at NID Goa. And the basic eligibility is same. You need to have an MTech in a relevant discipline 
with a minimum of 6.5 CGPA, which is relaxable for SCST candidates up to 6 CGPA, or it could be 60% for general category or 55% for reserved category SCST students. For PhD in these engineering disciplines that I just named, Computer Science and Engineering, Electronics and Communication Engineering, Electrical and Electronics Engineering, but this criteria should be in both bachelor's and master's level from a recognized technical university, right? So that's pretty much it. And then Applied Sciences and Humanities and Social Sciences PhD is also being offered by NIT Goa. So what do you need for that? To be eligible for those PhD or doctoral programs in Applied Sciences, you need to have a master's degree in science or humanities, or even it could be an M.Tech in a relevant specialization with a minimum of 6.5 CGA, or it could be six for reserved category candidates or 60% in unreserved or 55% for SCST candidates in both bachelor's and master's uh, level degrees from a recognized institute. So this is for applied sciences as well as for humanities or social sciences, a PhD at NID Goa. Moving ahead, we need to have a look in this video itself on the required entrance exam. So it is pretty much clear that for BTEC, you need a JEE mains, need to be in the top 20 percentile category I just mentioned, and you need to have a 75 percent aggregate score in 10 plus 2. Then in MTEC courses, the fees for which is 90,000 per year, you need to be passed in graduation and you also need to have a valid gate score for PhD, it's uh, post graduation. So these are the required entrance examination. PhD, uh, there could be a written test, uh, but coming back to the dates for the gate registrations that I had mentioned at the start of the video. So the gate registrations uh, were there towards the end of the 2020 and the exam is being uh, has been recently conducted in February while the JE mains are still underway and there are different dates like from 15th March, 18th March, April 27. So these are the different JE uh, upcoming examination dates. So it depends upon which date you have been uh, allocated and the gate result is going to be out soon in this month of March itself in 2021. So look forward to it because these are the required entrance examinations to have an, uh, to have an entry into the courses being offered at the graduate and the uh, postgraduate level at NIT Goa. Then we move forward to what we had decided for this video, which was required cutoff. So NIT Goa has a pretty good cutoff because it is ranked pretty well. So in civil engineering in the opening uh, rank, uh, at the round one is 21,432 and closing rank at round six, that's the last round is 35,494. For computer science and engineering, it's just under 4,000 opening rank round one and the closing rank round six is 10,323. Above that, electronics and electronics engineering, 16,000 is the rank for the opening rank round one and the closing rank round six is 21,001. Electronics and communication engineering 12,756 is the opening rank round one and closing rank round six is 16,711 and last but not the least mechanical engineering 18,845 at NIT Goa is the required cutoff while it closing rank at round six is 26,295. So required cutoff has been declining. There has been trend and there is a fluctuating trend for a few disciplines uh, as well. So, uh, for example, uh, the Computer science and engineering and electronics and communication engineering has seen a fluctuating trend in the last uh, two, three years. While uh, there has been a declining trend for civil engineering, mechanical engineering and electrical and electronics engineering. So declining trend means that higher ranks have also secured admissions after the final rounds of the counseling. So application process for NIT Goa is pretty much clear. Uh, for BTEC programs, uh, you need to have uh, apply and get registered on the official website of JE Main, have a good score at that and then there it is followed by JOSSA counseling for BTEC programs and for PhD programs. You can download the application form, download the application form uh, from the institution website that is NIT Goa website. And for uh, along with it, you need to have a demand draft of 500 rupees for general and OBC candidates and just 300 rupees for SCST candidates. So the demand draft should be payable in favor of director NIT Goa. So NIT Goa is situated in Ponda, Goa that you also a little bit of information that you need to know. So the application process I have told address of correspondence is registrar for PhD purposes. I'm telling you that uh, it's uh, 500 rupees for general and OBC and 300 for CST for PhD programs. And uh, what you require for that is the address, which is registrar NIT Goa for a Farma Gudi Ponda in Goa, right? So you can check the official website for that. Just a few scholarships to name a few. 
the main scholarship uh, that you should be knowing is the admission under the DAS scheme that is the direct admission of students abroad scheme and few of the other scholarships being offered by the central government or the ministry of HRD norms is that parent annual income should be not be more than 1 lakh and 40% uh, reservation in scholarship to girls is there and uh, student must obtain 50% marks in the last examination in order to be eligible for this scholarship if their parents income is less than 1 lakh a year. So these were the scholarships uh, on offer by NIT Goa and if you have any other queries left please uh, do write it in the comment section and for the NRI cutoffs do refer to the uh, find the link in the uh, description below. Thank you so much and I would like to wish you all the best who are waiting for your scores for the various required entrance examinations to make you eligible for UG and PG programs. So I wish you all the best and thank you so much for watching the video and stay tuned and subscribe to Trust Prep Card channel.